From the Eagle to the People, let's play House Flipper. They put in an update. I wanted to check it out because now they got scaffolds. Scaffolds is something. When you cannot reach something, you can use a small ladder or two. Different types of scaffolding. Haha. -ha. Buying more articles at the same time, you can do that now, yay. I think they added some rubbish bins. They added some rubbish bins, ladies and gentlemen. No more mess. No more. Oh, you can make your beds. Nice. Okay. More realistic grass. More display modes. Anyway, we're just going to jump back into this. I don't care. So, I think right now would be a fun time to go and check out our pink home because that's fabulous. Anyway, I wanted to come on and say hi. I've actually got some time. I get to record. I get to do some editing, some things like that, which is kind of different and kind of new. How dare you threaten me up there with this? But, anyway, I don't remember fully how all of this works, so we're just going to kind of hope for the best. Look at our pink home as I'm being punched out of my pink home. This is my pink house. I wanted pink houses are fabulous. Look at these chairs. They're amazing. Don't you just want to sit in those chairs? Can I mow the lawn yet? Is that a thing? Because I'd really like to mow the lawn. Like, at least give me clean cut grass. Look at this. My grass looks like crabgrass. Look at, look at, look at. Joe's grass is cut. My grass, crabgrass. Joe's grass, not. Anyway. I don't even think I have a car yet. Do I have a car? Oh my god, I haven't looked at the garage. I have a car. USA. ASU. Okay, never mind. I even have a pink bicycle. What the what the what? Anyway, I wanted to play some House Flipper because I think House Flipper is an amazing game. Regardless of whether or not it does really, really well, I enjoy it. And that is the key, guys. You gotta play what you enjoy sometimes. Do what you want to do. You know, don't always let the world dictate what you're going to do. Oh, I have mail. I have a job. Sadly, I can't speak English too well, and I'm sorry for it. I bought Raw Big House some time ago, and everything here is to do. The most important problem is sauna leak. Saunas are very popular in my country, and I want one here. Can you do a sauna in my house? Except wood on sauna walls, I want white walls and gray walls. Sure, we can do a sauna. That's a new house. I haven't done the new house. I got to do the new house. I was going to go build a house, but now I've got to do the new house. Again, can I, can I, can I just please do the, the, the grass thing? Oh, Lord. That is some new texture. Holy cow, that is some beautiful new texture. I like this pack. I'm liking the packs, guys. I think I found the sauna. I found the sauna. It's a sauna. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? There's tasks everywhere, I'm sure. Look at that fireplace. Oh, that's so quaint. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. Let's see how bad painting is, if they actually fix some of that stuff. So, it doesn't look like we got a lot going on down here. There's a lot of doors. Found the garage. I gotta explore your new construction zone. You actually put something in here. Place a ceiling lamp. Birch. Oh my god, they have it picked out. For that. Is there a staircase? There should be a staircase. I thought she said she bought big house. Or he or she, I don't know. Okay, let's start here. This one says ceiling lamp birch, lay four tiles, fitted carpet beige, and paint walls with the color white. <gasps> There's an aluminum ladder and a scaffold. Ooh. Forest mist, that's a new color. Oh, they got all kinds of new colors. Guys, they got new colors. It's fabulous. Paint. Fine, we'll go for paint. I don't want to... I'll, I'll look around this stuff later. Anyway, so we need white. We need age of height. There we go. Uh, buy many. Oh, that is so handy. Nice. Aha! I do remember some things. Paint. Ooh, the... The roller's got more texture too. Oh yeah. Oh no, that is nice. Let's let's paint this sucker up. Let's just paint it all. We. Okay. Blunk. Yep. Yeah. 
So if you guys don't know or don't remember, I gave this game away as a giveaway as well before. And if you guys wanted me to continue doing that, please leave it in the comments below because I don't know how much you guys like the game giveaways type things and if I want to continue doing that. Um, the reason being is because usually giveaways come with like some kind of stipulation of I need a certain amount of subs or commenting or liking on this video. I don't tend to do that. I tend to just kind of do that through the live, the live screen. That, Yeah, the live screen. Anyway, I do that through the live streams more so. And that's typically how I do my giveaways. But I haven't done one in a while. And I don't know if I will yet. But I, I don't know if you guys really enjoy those because I don't get a huge turnout for them as well. Which is fine. It's fair. I still like doing them every now and then. I think that's a cool way to give something, a little bit of something back. So with that being the case, I still want to know your thoughts on that. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see more giveaways on this channel. And I could probably work something out, maybe. Hopefully. Either that or I'm just shooting myself in the foot right now. Which is still a case. Could possibly be a thing. But anyway. Yes, oh god, I have speedy painting, and painting is still miserable, by the way. The painting is just terrible. Anyway, so, going back to what I was saying, which I completely lost track of most of what I was saying, but anyway, guys, I hope you're having a positively fabulous day. And that is the way it is, because look at us, we're painting walls. We're making things fabulous in this home. This soon-to-be home. Right now, it's kind of a a shell of a home, but it's all good. So I need to get lay floor tiles, fitted carpet beige. Okay. Uh, do I have floor tiles? Floor tiles? Tiling? Tables. Wall panels, wall tiles. Is Oh, it is actually called floor tiles. Holy cow. Fitted. Okay, that didn't work. said fitted, right? I'm pretty sure that said fitted. Lay floor tiles, fitted carpet beige. Do I need carpet? Carpets. Fitted. B-E-I-G-E. -E. Let's just go with this. B E I G E. Fitted carpet pitch. Why is that why was that so hard to do? Oh okay, now we're just gonna do that last one. Alright, cool. Bink, stick that sucker there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, baby, we ain't nothing but mammals and we need a ceiling lamp made of beige. I spell it. I cannot do it now. Ceiling lamp rectangular. Ceiling lamp birch. That's that's what you wanted? Okay. Boink. There you go. Place a single bed mount. Single bed. Mount. Boink. There's a bed. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We've made $2,000 so far. Standard four-door wardrobe. Okay. Now we're just shopping. That is not a good color. Let's go with birch. Oh, yeah. I remember now. You can control the angle of it. And for some reason, straight still to me does not look that straight. Anyway, guys, I'm redoing my room. Speaking of which, in, in my actual house, I'm redoing my room. And we have a lot of really cool upcoming stuff. Standard desk. Standard desk. It just says standard desk dot dot dot. I don't know what dot 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 is. 
But I am actually redoing my room. I'm going to get the shelves up. I'm custom building everything because I live in a world where if you don't make it, it's just not as nice. Chair spring. Okay. But. So I've been working quite, quite enthusiastically at doing that. And we've been doing the light show. Plus I've been redoing the house and a bunch of other things. Which I think I actually put up a little bit on that. That weird glitchy stream that was going on there. And that was a thing. Um, but yeah, we are redoing that. Bougie mesh trash bin. I get to check out the rubbish bins. Well, they have a few more options. I like that. I actually do like that. But that's okay. For right now, we're going to just go with this. Boink. What else? Room is furnished. This room is done. Anyway, so... <laughs> don't ask, I've lost it. But still, all the same. Um, what I was talking about was I'm redoing some of the rooms and redoing some of the other stuff that's going on in the house. And I'm very, very excited about that because I feel like that's been long overdue. Paint, white, and gray white paint I actually gotta go to paint you're killing me you're killing me smalls white paint but I had this this thing going on that I couldn't I can't explain I just feel great does that make, does that make sense have you ever just felt great like seriously great I know it sounds dumb and dorky and whatnot but it is quite a substantial feeling and I'm, I'm not mad about it it's I for the past couple of years I've really kind of been this guy that I like and I, I don't mean to say that I don't like myself or like you guys I really appreciate you guys but in none of the story really matters behind this either because of the simple fact that most people typically don't want to hear your problems, which is fair. I can totally get that. But for the past couple of years, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it outright. I haven't really liked me the way that I would normally like to like me. Like I haven't felt productive. I haven't felt like I'm, I'm doing the, the right things with my life. If that makes sense. Um. So, I. Bleh. Bleh. The way where I'm going with this anyway, it's not that I'm not doing the right things. I love doing YouTube. This is my job. This is my this is my passion. This is my heart and soul. Everything I have is in this, and that I'm okay with. And I think that a lot of people should find the passions that they're doing. But the the moral of the story is, I went to sleep. Yes, I actually did go to sleep. But with going to sleep, I had a really weird dream. I don't know if you guys have weird dreams or not. I hope I'm not the only one who has weird dreams, but I was on fire. And what I mean by on fire is like, not like, oh, he's set ablaze. He's like one of those, those cool daredevil people. Nah, I'm not that cool. I'm not that fancy. Sorry. If you were hoping for that, mm, not the best thing, but I was on fire. And what I mean by on fire is that like, I felt good. I felt better. Like I liked who I was looking at in the mirror and I liked being me and I liked what I was doing with me and I liked my life and that gave me a realization that I hadn't had quite before we need gray Ugh, how bland of you just gray gray everywhere so what it made me realize was the things that I appreciate in life that is not gray that is black ladies and gentlemen they have some color issues Oh well, that's what she wants. She wants gray. So I will make your wall black. But, um, these do not complement each other, by the way. Not at all. But anyway, yeah. The moral of my, my little story here is there was things about me that I didn't particularly care for. I wasn't super happy about. I wasn't I wasn't the greatest person I wanted to be. I wasn't everything I, I portrayed. And I'm sorry about that, but I also didn't really want to let people in 
per se. Mount devices, what is this? Oh, I need a sink, okay. So, my moral is if you don't like who you are, you have the right to change that. And I think, as of now, I think we're gonna get along a lot better and things are gonna be a lot different in, in all of the right aspects, by the way, because um, I'm doing better. I feel better. I feel more put together. My my life doesn't seem as chaotic. I mean, granted, there's a lot, of, and I mean a lot of stuff going around. You still haven't upgraded me a better bathroom sink. Ugh. Lame. But I was having, like I said, I had this moment where I was realizing that I was I was not happy with who I was being and who I was acting or how I was acting and how how I was becoming, things like that. Just basic, everyday things that normal people go through. And I think that's that's a fair statement. I think we all have an aspect of our life that we're not perfectly in sync with. So, what I did was I decided I wanted to change that. I didn't, I didn't like who that guy was, per se. What am I missing? No, that. Okay. So, I decided to change that. And... And since I've done that, I feel more at ease, more more put together, more calm, more just a whole lot of things. So the moral of my story here is, guys, don't be afraid to change who you are. Don't be afraid to be happy with who you are because you deserve to be. And I think being here, I've also realized, too, that this is a safe haven. For, for me, I've come to appreciate the things that I typically would stay that I would typically take for granted. Lay floor tiles, ceramic, white tiles. Jesus, this person really likes white. Ceramic tiles, white. There we go. I don't really think I need more than one. I think I'll be good. Oh, I need the trolley, the trolley, -la -la. boink. Wait. Oh, I do need those. So. Okay. So anyway, the thing is, I've I've come to very much appreciate the fact that I have you guys here. I have. I have literally the greatest support system I could ever ask for. And going back to the whole, I was not liking who I was. I had a, quite a severe mental breakdown. And it was, it was my own causing. It was because I've been putting off a bunch of things that I hadn't dealt with. I did not go to the VA like I was supposed to go. I did not go and see a therapist. I didn't do all that stuff when I probably should have. And... It really kind of reflected here as well as there. So I ended up having this this like stupid breakdown. No no point for it at all. Just broke down and whatever. Now I gotta clean my life up and that's that's what I've been doing. Aside from, you know, the typical stuff. You run around, you do your thing, you have you have an awesome time with your family, you have you have good support system and that counts for a lot. But during that breakdown, I think every, I, I am a firm believer that everything absolutely happens for a reason. And the reason for this one, I honestly think I needed to have that. I needed to be that guy that just couldn't stand on his own feet for, for a moment. I needed to let go of all the stresses that weighed me down. And I think everybody does once in a while. We all deserve to have that moment where we can just, you know, relax and let go of the world, not not feel like it's all sitting on us. And I know a lot of us here do that. A lot of you guys on this channel probably do that. Which is why I tried to make this a really safe place. I don't want this to be some political bashing area. And you guys have been fantastic about commenting and being great. And everybody's super supportive. And you're all wonderful freaking people. Like wonderful, amazing people that I could not be happier to have on board. So, as we're playing this little game, it gives me an opportunity to tell you about the the fact that, yes, I had a breakdown. And I'm okay with that. It's It makes me lo no less of a human being. What that breakdown did, though, is very essential. 
and very important. That breakdown allowed me to let go of the world, let go of my stresses, stop trying to fix everything. And I have a bad habit of doing that. That's not that's not a thing that I don't do. I, I typically will, if there's a problem, I want to fix it. If there's something going on, I want to fix it. And the thing is, I didn't take time for me in all of that. So I, I, very, I very much put myself on a back burner and just kept pushing it, pushing and pushing, pushing, breakdown. Boom, done. What I learned during that was that, yes, you can't always save everybody. You can't always come out and be the hero. But at the same time, I very much learned to appreciate what I had. I saw the things that I've been I've been taking for granted quite heavily. And you know what? When it really boils down to it, I have you guys. I've got you guys as the most amazing support group ever. And I've also got my family. And my family has been an amazing push behind this channel, an amazing everything. Every time I've fallen off my 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 what throne, pedestal, whatever you want to call it here. Every time I've almost lost my drive, they've picked me back up and put me back on my feet. And that's awesome. And I think you guys here have created that same atmosphere. And that's really, really cool. It means a lot. Ceramic tiles white. Yep. But let me get let me get the ceramic tiles white. I need ceramic floor tiles. Ceramic white tiles. That should go on the floor, yes? No? No. No, 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 I forgot. Hang on. Floor tiles. There we go. Ceramic tile white. That's what she wants. Okay. So, as I was saying before, um, you guys have created the most amazing community of people that I've seen in a very, very long time. And I'm very, very proud to say that you guys are a part of my channel, that you have made this what it is, and this channel would not be where it is today if it weren't for you guys. So I do plan on continuing to grow. I do plan on continuing to get better at what I do and bring you better stuff. And I plan to, to up the scales as much as I possibly can because every time we do a, a stream for charity, which by the way, I'll get into in a second, but Every time we do a stream for charity, you guys have shown up and donated. Every time we've done something for any kind of anything, you guys have shown up and made it so much more than it could have been. So for that, I thank you very, very much. And with that being the community, you all you you have all been incredibly supportive. Everybody's always got some kind of merchandise, knowing that it goes straight to the charities. You guys have picked me up and noticed when I'm acting off or acting funny and things like that. And that, that really means the world to me, and I, I know that sounds really kind of dumb, but it means the world to me that I've got such a great support group sitting here in front of me, and this game is perfect for being able to sit back and really talk to you, but on that note, guys, what I am trying to say is thank you. Just seriously, thank you. Thank you for being such a wonderful group of people that can, that can be there and understand what's going on and, and just not judge each other instead you're you're happy to be there and you're happy to be a part of this and that means a lot to me because this i plan on taking to the next level and eventually this will be big and when i get there i don't want to forget all of this i don't want to lose these little moments that we've had together where we've grown and had to horribly designated crabs put in our grass because i was still learning and i honestly i'm still learning so that's a thing. But when it comes right down to it, guys, that's the moral of it is it's okay to fall apart. It's okay to not always be on top. And I hope you guys realize that I'm here, this community's here, and you're all here, which means you have a place to go. If you need a good laugh or you need a good time. Ah, crap, I forgot how to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, it's something stupid. It's something. Ah! Okay. The one bolt that doesn't show. 
but you guys have a place that you can come to. If you can't find me on YouTube, you can go to my brand new Facebook page that I just put together. And by the way, I did. I'm changing over Facebook. It's no longer a personal social media. It's going to be directly for YouTube and for YouTube related stuff. So if you guys don't catch a video here and you're on Facebook more often, you'll have all of my videos posted off on Facebook. So to find that, you'll be able to go to the description as well. You can reach me there in you can reach me there at at the Facebook site as well and you can reach me on some other sites that I'll be putting together. I'm going to actually get an Instagram together for you guys and all this stuff. So I want to be able to be contacted cuz You've been here for me, and I can be there for you. So, on the, on the side note of that, guys, that's awesome. And with you all being here, I have one other thing that I want to bring up. We have a super important event coming up to us. Anyway, and I know there's some... I don't know why I'm thinking about the radio. I know there's some massive, massive controversy between it, but... As you know, this channel is comprised of a bunch of us older vets who just pretty much are living life and disabled, and that's how it is. And It's okay to be that way. Whatever. That, that's our life. That's how it works. So with that, modify walls. What am I modifying? Oh, I gotta knock down a wall. Ooh, I get to knock down a wall. I love knocking down walls. Blech. 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 Gross. This wall is terrible. It must go. Anyway, so what we did is we have the charity live stream coming up. And this one's going to be on Halloween. Now, I don't expect that you're going to just stop and be there and all this other stuff. Because, you know, that would that would be, like, presumptuous, to say the least. But what I do ask is that if you do get the time to stop in feel free because this one's going to be very very special we're doing it for the wounded warriors program and myself included has actually used this program so it's incredibly helpful yeah there's there's been some stuff that's happened and i i get that but i pull all political outside of trying to help um when it comes right down to it we're going to be doing this Stream, and the stream is going to be something very, very unique. And we'll be giving out an address to the kind people who allowed us to host this as well uh, in my next video where you'll be able to see the, the actual lights and how it all works. But what we've done is essentially, if you haven't heard of Lightorama, check out the House of Oz because the House of Oz posts a bunch of videos about that. And I'll link that in the description as well. But we're doing a live, live charity event with the Lightorama show and it will be streamed right here on this channel so you guys will have the opportunity to come in and hang out and watch and see as well and surprisingly this is how much this is why I wanted to take a second to thank you guys because even before I was able to announce this I built I set up with the charity I did all this stuff and even before I was able to announce the fact that we're having a charity stream, there are already people from this channel coming in donating to that link. You have found it before I've even put up this video. So, way to freaking go. You guys are awesome. I really, it, it means the world to me to know that you guys can do that. But on that side note, guys, this is going to be on Halloween night between roughly about 6 to 9. It's going to be a safe place where you can bring your kids. It's going to be trick-or-treating galore. We're going to have light shows. We're going to have uh, a bunch of cool animatronic stuff going on. And we actually hope to see you guys out there. So if you get the chance and you happen to be in Michigan, feel free to stop through. But on the side note, guys, that is all of the time that I have for this video. It's been awesome to really hang out with you. I'm sorry for just kind of standing there the last few seconds. I put it in a washer and then I got into talking. But... You know what to do. If you guys like these episodes, go ahead and smack the crap out of the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. That way, every time we update, you get pinged with it. And we will see you and all of your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye-bye!